Hi everybody, my name is Charlie Malone and I love to share stories and books, poems, and ideas that are special to me that I think are really important to you kids and to your families. And this week I'm sharing Nikki Giovanni, I Am Love, the poetry collection and the illustrations are by Ashley Bryan. I'm a teacher and I'm going back to school this week and I know a lot of you are going back to school this week and Maybe you're excited, maybe you're nervous, but I think the most important thing to remember is that you are loved and you are respected. And so let's, let's read these poems together. I am loved. Because. I wrote a poem for you because you are my little boy. I wrote a poem for you because you are my darling daughter. And in this poem, I sang a song that says, as time goes on, I am you and you are me. And that's how life goes on. Leaves. On a rainy day, when I'm sitting in a tree, looking for a friend, I hope you'll be the one standing at the root, holding out your arms to gently catch my fall. Do any of you like to climb trees? This poem's called Wild Flowers. We are like a field of wild flowers, unpollinated, swaying against the wind. Dew sparkling, buds bursting. We await the drying day. Let's not gain the notice of the woman with the large straw basket. Autumn will come anyway. Let us continue our dance beneath the sun. Quilts for Sally Sellers. Like a fading piece of cloth, I'm a failure. No longer do I cover tables filled with food and laughter. My seams are frayed, my hems falling, my strength no longer able to hold the hot and cold. I wish for those first days when just woven I could keep water from seeping through, repel stains with the tightness of my weave, dazzle the sunlight with my reflection. I grow old, though pleased with my memories. The tasks I can no longer complete are balanced by the love of the tasks gone past. I offer no apology, only this plea. When I am frayed and stained and drizzled at the end, please someone cut a square and put me in a quilt that I might keep some child warm and some old person with no one else to talk to will hear my whispers and cuddle near. So when an old tablecloth or a blanket gets too old, you can cut a square and together those squares could make a new quilt, a new blanket, a new tablecloth. A Song of a Blackbird for Carolyn Rogers, October 4th, 2010. We look for words, intelligent, intense, chocolate, warm, ambitious, cautious, to describe a person. We design monuments, the pyramids, the Taj Mahal, the Lincoln Memorial, the Empire State Building, the Wrigley Building, coffins to say someone was loved. We sing a sad blue song. We sing a river, no bridge song. We sing a song of a blackbird to say, you will be missed. Three quarters time, dance with me, dance with me. We are the song, we are the music, dance with me. Waltz me, twirl me, 
do si do please. Peppermint twist me. Philly squeeze. Cha-cha-cha, tango, two-step two. Cakewalk, Charleston, boogaloo. Dance with me. Dance with me all night long. We are the music. We are the song. Do you like to dance? It's an interesting poem. It's called Kidnap Poem. Ever been kidnapped by a poet? If I were a poet, I'd kidnap you, put you in my phrases and meter. You to Jones Beach or maybe Coney Island or maybe just to my house. Lyric you in lilacs, dash you in the rain, blend into the beach to compliment my sea, play the lyre for you, ode you with my love song. Anything to win you, wrap you in the red, black, green, show you off to mama. Yeah, if I were a poet, I'd kid nap you. Paula the cat. Paula the cat. Not thin nor fat is as happy as house cats can be. She reads and she writes with all the delights of intelligent cats up a tree. Tired of the view she chose to pursue, a fate unbeknownst to the crowd, finding a boat locked up in a moat, she boarded and shouted out loud, I'm Paula the cat! Not thin nor fat, as happy as house cats can be. But now I have the urge for my spirit to surge, and I shall go off to the sea. This poem's called No Heaven. How can there be no heaven when rain falls gently on the grass? when sunshine scampers across my toes, when corn bakes into bread, when wheat melts into cake, when shadows cool and owls call and little finches eat upside down. How can there be no heaven when tears comfort, when dreams caress, when you smile at me? This last poem is called, I am a mirror. And there's an actual mirror. And I think it's a good poem to read, um, but I think it's an even better poem to help you write your own poem. And so that's what I did. I read this poem and it's by Nikki Giovanni, like all the poems. And she wrote about what she reflects in her mirror, when she looks into a mirror, when she looks into other people's faces. So what I did was I wrote my own version of this song, this poem, and I'm going to read it to you. I am a mirror. I reflect the human joy and grit of my mother, the cynical curiosity of my father the flirtatious stubbornness of my grandmother, the storytelling wisdom of my grandfather, the sweat and hope and mysteries of my great grandparents, the stories, dreams, and damage done of my ancestors, the answered prayers of those who lost their way, the bravery of those who faced demons and monsters, their own and those that came from other places. I reflect the strengths and the weaknesses of the people who love me. And for that alone, I am loved. And so are you. So I'm gonna, I'll write down the words for this poem in the video that I send out. 
Um, and, but you can use it to make your own poem with your family by looking in the mirror and see what you reflect. This last one is really fun. It's called Do the Rosa Parks. And you probably know, or you may not, Rosa Parks is very important in the civil rights movement because she refused to sit at the back of the bus. And as a black person, she said, I don't have to sit in the back of the bus. I can sit anywhere I want. So this is called Do the Rosa Parks, a song in rhythm. Do the Rosa Parks say no, no. Do the Rosa Parks throw your hands in the air. Do the Rosa Parks say no, no. Do the Rosa Parks tell them that's not fair. Somebody's lying, Rosa Parks him. Somebody's crying, Rosa Parks her. Shame the bad, comfort the good. Do the Rosa Parks just like she would. Sit down. Four, five, six. Stand up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sit down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stand up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do the Rosa Parks all over the town. <laughs> I love those poems and I hope you enjoyed some of them too. Have a wonderful rest of the day and I will see you outside. Remember, you are loved.